This is the 11th episode of my 2D Metroidvania series already and in this video we're gonna take a look at how we can kill the player, how we can reload our scene when the player died, how we can also fix a problem that we're gonna have with the sword and I'm gonna also talk at the end of the video of what I'm planning to do uh, for this uh, series of, uh, of uh, tutorial on my channel. I just want to address the fact that right now I'm working on a new Udemy course that I'm going to probably release at the end uh, of March and so I'm going to release a little bit less video on this uh, channel uh, this month of March. What I'm planning to do at the moment is two to three uh, video about this, this very uh, tutorial series uh, per week and maybe one video where I'm talking about some other things uh, this uh, this month. That's what I would like to do ideally. So I will, I will stop making for this month like video daily because at the moment I have a huge amount of work to do and also I'm making a sort of like Android version of that very uh, uh, series of video I'm making it as an Android game because Google is a bit annoying with me at the moment and I will explain that in a further video so let's get started so now in this video what we're gonna do is we're gonna be able to trigger our dead function because right now for example if we have no art our player is still alive which is not automatically something that we want so we already have created the dead animation in the first video of this series and our dead animation looks like this voila and uh, now we need to be able to trigger it so for that what we need to do is we need to go back to our player script and we have already created the uh, state machine it's already there and so now we need to globally call that state machine when we don't have life anymore so first i'm gonna go i think under sword and here i'm gonna create a new function that i'm gonna call dead and that function gonna hold the reference to my anim.play and my uh, function my animation gonna be dead with a capital d one thing that I need to do here as well is that I need to make sure that when my player is dead, I can't uh, continue to control it. So here I need to get the velocity.x and I need to set it to be equal to zero. Now that I've created that, what I can do is I can com come back into my uh, uh, current state here and I can just make a reference to my player state dot dead that is just right here. And then here I can uh, say, okay, if we are on the player state, you're dead, you can go here and just take a look at what is in our dead function. And in our dead function, we have our animation play dead and the velocity. That's what we have. So now we have done that. What we can do is, for example, maybe here on the physics process delta, I can make a, a statement like this. I can say if player data dot life is smaller or equal to zero then i want to change my current state to be equal to player underscore state dot dead and if player underscore uh, data dot life is greater uh, or equal to one then what i want to do is i want to just get my current state to be i copy this one here i'm putting it here and i'm changing dead from move by move i'm changing dead by move so now let's have a look i'm gonna come here i'm losing life what happened if i'm losing that life boom i'm dying perfect but you can see that now that i'm looping <laughs> which is not something that i want so now what i can do here is basically i can just go back to my dead function right here a uh, dead function right here sorry and here i can call an await and that await is going to be called on the animation player. I'm going to call my animation finished like this. I'm just going to put the velocity.x here over that. And then when my animation uh, finish is uh, when my animation is finished, what I want to do is I want to recharge the player data dot life and set it to be uh, equal to four. So like this, it will put back my player to the uh, the state function the state uh, the player state dot move so let's have a look i come here one two three four boom and then you can see that now i am back perfect and now i can just continue to die like this boom and that's good so this is a good thing and there's one thing that i i haven't tested yet it's like yeah, I can't, I can't move, so that's good. But now we're going to have a problem. So let's have a look. Let's see if I lose my life when I am in the air. Let's see what's going on. 
you can see that now <laughs> this is a weird thing that's going on here so what i can do is that on my dead function i can call my gravity force as well to make sure that uh, i can uh, just like drop down and i can call my move and slide as well and i'm doing that before to call the uh, the uh, await animation so like this i can slide uh before i'm starting the animation so let's see now i'm gonna do that i'm gonna come here i'm gonna lose life you can see that now i have uh, lost my life so like and i've been falling and stuff and i can't move in between perfect so now we have a way to make sure that we can display our uh, dead animation nicely when we are losing life but this is not enough because what we need to do here is we also need to make sure that maybe we have collected some uh, some item and if we are dead for example let's say i'm collecting my uh, my coin here if i'm dying maybe i want to make sure that i can restart actually the game and if i'm dying here you're gonna see I'm just going to spawn back where I am and that's it. So that's not what I want. What I want here is I want to be, when I'm, when I'm dead, I want to reload the scene. So for that, I need to go here and I need to do get underscore tree and dot and then put dot reload current scene. And then it's going to reload my scene and it's going to reload my scene with where my player position is. So for example, here. So let's have a look. I'm going to come. There, where the, the coin is animated, uh, the, the spike is animated, I'm losing life. Okay, and if I come here, I'm gonna pass here like this, boom, I'm dead, and then I'm gonna come back. And you see, I have a problem right here. And here, the uh, error is normal, it's because I forget one thing. This is something that is like uh, actually a bit new in Godot, like I don't know why it does that, but uh, basically, when you try to reload the current scene, uh, for some reason, it uh, it returns a null value. And so what you need to do here, one trick that you can use is here, you can just make a check and you can check if the tree exists. And if the tree exists, then you can reload the scene. So for that here, what you need to do is just need to do that. If get underscore tree, which means if the if get tree is true, so we have like a tree uh, scene, then we can reload the scene. And so now if I save and I'm launching back the game, if I come here, Let's say up, I'm going to come here and I'm going to uh, die here on that spike right there. I'm falling and then now I'm going to reload my actual scene at the position where I was starting before. And you can see that I have my four art and those kind of things. One thing as well that I need to do is you can see that here my coin is still on one. I've collected uh, a coin before the, before I'm, uh, to die. And so now, for example, I am at three. And if I'm coming here and I'm like losing life, for example, when I'm going to reload the, the game, it's going to be at three as well. It's not automatically something that I want. So here, what I can do uh, this is for that version of the game. It's quite simple, but if you have like a, a game with like saving system and stuff, it's not going to fit. But here, what we can do is I can just say player underscore data dot coin is equal to zero. And so like this, it will uh, reset my uh, data coin here. So for example, now I'm collecting my coin, those kind of things. I'm going to die up when I come here. Boom, I'm dead. And now my coin is at zero, my life is at four. And so now we have basically uh, something we can use to trigger the, uh, the dead animation of our player. So now the only problem that we have here is this. I'm going to launch the game. And so now if I try to uh, activate my sword uh, animation, it doesn't work anymore. And this is normal is because uh, basically at the beginning of uh, us coding or um, the way to toggle our dead state, I've added that lines here. And uh, the problem is that uh, as long as our uh, player has a number of lives that is superior to one, he's going to automatically going to be in the player state move so it's going to cancel a lot of other states so what we can do is just remove that line save and now if i launch the game now i can use my swell back again and if i die 
it's still like uh, change nothing because now when we are dead we are uh, re reloading the scene so our scene is right here we're reloading we are reloading our scene here and so because we are reloading our scene when we are reloading our scene our uh, player is also uh, going back to the player state move because that's what we have set up in the current state here at the beginning so that's why now everything works this way and now that we have done all of this uh, we are good for killing the player and we can move on in the next video i think i'm gonna show you uh, different things and so uh, in uh, the next video what i think i'm gonna do is like i'm gonna make the touch screen control so like this we're gonna turn our uh, game into a potential mobile game after that i'm gonna make random generation levels i think also i've already made some trial that works well and then we're gonna start also the enemy uh, and uh, still this is what i think to do those it, all of here in blue is what I think to do and this is what I potentially think I can do either it will be for this series or it will be for a, a Udemy uh, version of this uh, of this series where I will go in more detail into specific things I don't know yet so I will see but this is what I think for sure I'm gonna uh, do uh, in the next uh, weeks so I will see you in the next video so that's it for me. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it's the case, don't hesitate to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Me, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.